welcome to this little update to the Mars 2.0 map tour that I did recently and it's just to cover a production unit that I left out and I thought at the same time we'll take a quick look at the train I did say we'd look at the train in the series that I'm going to be doing in any case the mod that the production unit that I missed was the electronics plant or the electronics factory so we're just going to have a quick look at that and this is where the inputs go in we've just covered where the where the stock comes out and over here we can see we can make electronic parts blank PCBs motherboards and then of course you've got overdrive on those as well so that works out rather well the um, basic inputs are silicone, titanium alloys, glass, enriched magnesium, electric charge, and then of course electric parts and the PCBs that you um, that you manufacture here. So I would presume on the outgoing section you would have to set the PCBs and the electronic parts to um, delivering. Is it delivering? I think I think it is delivering, so that it would um, automatically put that into the into the incoming incoming materials. Of course, you do have the overdrive. All the basic materials come from either the stone production or the um, smelting plant. We will look at that in more detail, the actual production chains, as we go through the series that are going to be doing. It's going to be focused on getting those those things up and running. Right, and that's the electronics plant factory production unit, whatever you'd like to call it. I thought while I was on, I would um, just take a quick look at the the train it is such a feature of this map also um, a lot of it a lot of the blender work done by superfly and the mapping again of course done by farmer Bob I think this is going to provide a nice little different way to play farming simple as uh, farming to do yeah farming simula simulator 22 right so we summoned the train which summons pretty much as normal at the uh, rather sci-fi looking antenna that we just we just had a look at while I was rambling on and trying to spit my words out to get onto the upper level, you need to come up these stairs. And I know in a lot of places um, climbing up stairs does pose a bit of a problem, but I found it reasonably easy to get up these. I couldn't on the in the time that I spent looking around find an elevator up here, but there may be, but I, I didn't see it. And yeah, it's a couple of flights up. And that will bring, bring us up to the to the train platform. So the train does run quite high up on the monorail, making it look, of course, very, very futuristic and sci-fi-ish. Sci well, I wouldn't say sci-fi-ish. Sci I'd say looking sci-fi. <laughs> Fantastic. Really, really looks good. And that's what I like. Things are different. So you can still play your normal straightforward farming, farming simulator game. But um, just for a little bit of variation now and again, come and give this map a go. Right, we've got some we just passed there some lovely big storage racks for pallets. I 
I haven't looked at this in depth, but um, there must be a way that you can drive. Or maybe there's a, maybe the um, there's an elevator. Yeah, that bottom part there may be an elevator. We'll have to check that out when we do the series. Bringing us up to the top. So you can possibly put a vehicle on there and bring us up to the top. I'm not sure. We'll check it out when we start on the series. It's the inside of the train. Have a quick look at the outside of the train. Fantastic looking. The one thing I must say is that the train, when it is summoned, stops fairly short of the platform area. And the only way that I could find to get into it was to tab into it. Um, I couldn't get close enough to, um, to just enter vehicle, but I managed to tab into it. So. Not too much of a problem, but yeah, it was a little bit short of the platform where, where the train stops. Just pulling it into the platform. So the loading, if you look at that, um, what looks like a laser beam going down, that is where the loading point is. Right over there, underneath the gantry. I haven't uh, fully explored which which cars take what, but I would say it's pretty much the same as a normal train. This fan three is probably for grains, etc., then pallets, and then liquids at the back. The modelling of this on this map is just next level. I think one can say this is a cool map. It's just the train going backwards from the station back to the furthest point of entrance. From the station, if you were delivering to the Mars rocket, um, if you went forward, it would be pretty close. I thought I'd just show you the train in action. Fantastic. Fantastic. Just as we uh, as we go over there, there's another little area down here where you can summon the train. I did try that, but I'm not sure where the train actually was summoned to. Um, so I'm not quite sure how that works. I'm sure um, that that will be looked at. And then just straight into the the tunnel. I think that's where I'm going to end this little quick video. You get kicked out of the train into this into this uh, very sci-fi area. The only way that I can find to get out of here is to just jump over the edge. In any case, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.